Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is my next uh, Comrack video. Well, actually, it's a take two of a Comrack video because the other Comrack video, which is for Sonic Rainboom, yo, uh, kind of got hammered by uh, YouTube's content ID, and I decided to just delete the video and then dispute it or acknowledge or any of that stuff. And I'm gonna just redo this one because. I really wasn't very happy with the first time, and I must have been, especially at the end where I ramble on for like 20 minutes of stuff. I think that ultimately didn't have much to do with the episode. Sorry about that. I'll try. I'm going to try this time and not do that and stuff like that. <laughs> I've said there's at least one thing I must have been that I want to uh, fix that I got kind of wrong <laughs> in my last Comrade video. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I'm going to. I mean, I don't know my own Comrade video very well, so I don't know if it's going to be the same, if it's going to be different, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, if I do this one, when I do this one again, because I think also I think I was a little sleep deprived and tired and stuff when I did that one, so I don't think that was my best uh, work. So I'm gonna give this one another shot and uh, see what happens. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'm also gonna do some extra <laughs> countermeasures to um, hopefully not get hammered by YouTube again. Uh, like I'm gonna crop the I'm gonna crop the video a little bit as well as including to making it small and everything, and maybe put up a watermark or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna crop the video. So I think in just this one case, because I don't know why the it got hammered the last time, but I'm gonna do some extra things to hopefully make sure it does not get hammered again. But anyway, so um, let's just get on with this and we'll see how this works out. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Ah, never a beautiful sunny day or cloudless day in Ponyville. What have we Ooh. learned? Lots of I don't know. Good. What? Screaming and hollering. Roar! And most importantly, <laughs> passion. Right. Passion's good. So now that you know the elements of a good cheer, oh. let's hear one. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh. Ugh, you're gonna cheer for me like that? <laughs> it's like, oh, come Flutter. on, Fluttershy. Roar. Louder! Yay. Louder! Ow. <gasps> oh no, cover your ears! Yay. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor Rainbow Dash. No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I like the op oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it was close. Ah, Rainbow Dash in all her glory. <laughs> Hello down there. Ah, apparently clouds are free. Cool. Oh. And now, phase one of my routine. Oh, good. Phase one. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh it's making me seasick. Oh. Emmy Larson, yo! <laughs> Again, I like how she's flying without actually flapping her wings, but we'll let that go. Oh. <laughs> Way to go. Here we go. Phase three. Oh, Fluttershy. <laughs> that sounds impressive. Come on, you can do it. Maximum power. Uh oh. I hope her lips hold out. <laughs> God, you can do it! You can do it! Uh-oh. <laughs> uh Bye, Rainbow <laughs> Dash! We'll see you later, baby. Thank you so much for helping me clean up all these books, guys. It was a crazy thing Guys? They're not guys. <laughs> hmm? Uh-oh. Run! <laughs> it got the cameraman again. <laughs> Twilight has like a Dash, mouthful of scrolls. <laughs> Did my cheering do that? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that, ladies. That was a truly feeble performance. Actually, Ouch. <laughs> it wasn't all bad. I particularly liked it when you made the cloud spin. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not talking about my performance. I'm talking Ow, about Rainbow yours. Dash may have taken that personally. <laughs> feeble cheering. What are you two arguing about? Were we arguing? I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish you guys could come to Cloudsdale to see me compete <sighs> in the best young flyer competition. What Yo. That? It's where all the greatest Pegasus flyers get together and Ooh, show off their different Such parts. excitement, Pinkie Pie. Yeah. Ooh, where'd you go? <laughs> uh oh. Uh, very ungraceful. Golly, I'd love to see you strut your stuff in that competition. Yeah, I wish you guys could be there. Fluttershy's a great support, but her cheering isn't exactly inspirational. Ouch. I'd love to see you make I mean, a sonic oh, rainbow. It's like the most coolest thing ever, even though I've never actually seen it. But I mean, <laughs> come on, it's a sonic rainbow. How uh, not cool uh, could it possibly not be? <laughs> What's a sonic rainbow? 
Pegasus you really need to get out more. Fine, Ouch, but unfortunately true. When a Pegasus like Rainbow Dash gets going so fast. Ow. That looks painful. Yo. Rainbow Dash, here's the only pony to ever pull it off. It was a long time ago. Hmm. I was just a filly. Yeah, Good for you. you. Do it again, right? Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm the greatest flyer to ever come out of Cloudsdale. I could do sonic rain booms in my sleep. Wow. Good. If you pull that off, you'll the crown for sure. The grand prize is an entire day with the Wonder Bolts. Yo. A flying with my life uh -oh. heroes. It'll be a dream come true. <laughs> Yay. I'm gonna go rest. Come on, Fluttershy. Don't wanna over prepare myself, you know. <laughs> you, on the other hand, better Ooh. keep practicing. Ouch. Give me a cheering section to match my spectacular performance. Hmm. Hi. She's practiced that move a hundred times and she's never even come close to doing it. Bummer. I don't know if I can cheer loud enough to help her. Hmm, bummer. I think well, she I think, guess we better get I think she needs more up. than cheering at all the stage, but whatever. Go on. Go Ow. on. Ooh. Go on what? Find a spell that will get us wingless ponies into Cloudsdale. Nice. Didn't you see how nervous she was? Nervous? Ooh. Have you spit your bit or something? She was what? tooting her own horn louder than the brass section of a marching band. Oh, please. <laughs> I've put on enough fashion shows to recognize stage fright when I see it. You've got mm. to find a way to be there for her. Now go all mm. out. Ooh. It would help if you would stop beating up Twilight. I'm supposed to find a flight <laughs> spell in this mess. A flight mm. spell? One sec. Yeah. Page 27. Mm. How'd you do that? It landed on my face when Rainbow Dash knocked me into the bookcase. <laughs> Here it is. A spell that will allow Earth ponies uh. to fly for three days. <laughs> They'll be awfully tired after that. Really difficult. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure I can do it. You've got to try. Come on, Twilight. Okay. We have faith. But who's going to volunteer to be the test subject? Uh, not me. Particularly because I'm not a pony. <laughs> I will. Mm, oh, way to go, Rarity. I will go first. Here goes. Oh, dear. It's nice knowing you, Rarity. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Right. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Don't worry, Rarity. It'll be okay. It'll be over in a nano click. Ooh. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, boy. Twilight is like... How did it get worked? How did it get worked? <laughs> You've got to learn to be assertive, Fluttershy. Don't be afraid to speak up. Ah, uh, Cloudsdale. Yo. Oh, it's Derpy. Mm. Well, well, well. What oh, no. do we have here? It's our old friend, Rainbow Crash. Get Bummer. kicked out of any flight schools lately? Mm. <laughs> Ouch. Wait, you were kicked out of flight school. Out. Face mm. it, Rainbow Crash. Ouch. Flight school had too many rules and not enough nap times for you. Mm. <laughs> Ask her about the sonic rain boom. That's nothing but an old mare's tale. You don't have the skills to try something like that. No, Ooh. wait just a minute. Uh, ooh. <gasps> oh, oh my I'm gosh. Sorry. I'm trying to be more assertive. <laughs> she is going to do a sonic rain boom. Ooh. No, she's not, because there's no such thing. Then show up at the Cloud Coliseum and see for hmm. yourself. If you're free. <laughs> oh, that's all the assertive that that flesh I had. <laughs> way to go, way to go. Did you Rainbow Crash? Oh, dear. Did you see that? I was so assertive. Yes, you were. <laughs> Those guys are right. I'll never be able to do it. But Rainbow Crash, just because you failed the Sonic Rainbow a hundred thousand times in practice, um. doesn't mean you won't be able to do it in front of an entire stage uh -oh. full of impatient, super critical Uh, sports Fluttershot, animals. you're not helping. No! <laughs> oh, no. What do I do? Every pony's gonna see me fail. The Wonderbolts will never let a loser no. like me join. The Princess Celestia will probably banish me to the Everfree Forest. Ooh. My what? life is well ahead. Oh. Rare? What happened to, what happened happened to Rainbow Dash? Oh. Way more than rare. Rarity? Hmm? What about rarity? Oh, wait. Hmm? Rarity, are you flying? <laughs> she can fly. I she can fly. Um, <laughs> my wings smashing. Yes, Twilight they are. Made them for me. I just adore them. This is, oh, they're pretty. Ah! Yeah, I'm so <laughs> I was like, <gasps> my favorite flyer without a big cheering section. Yay! <laughs> ah, the balloon. It does exist. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Aww. It's incredible. Wait again, you've never seen a balloon before? <laughs> sure did! 
Oh no, wait a minute! <laughs> How'd you do that? Only Pegasus ponies can walk on clouds. Ooh. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I found a spell that makes temporary wings, but it was too difficult to do more than once. Yeah, so, so I don't both kill Twilight and or Rarity. Must walk on clouds. And Yay. we came to cheer you to victory. Oh, to be honest, good. You I guys are true friends. <laughs> I mean, you girls are true friends. No, now you got me doing it. But I feel a lot better now that you guys are here. Hey, Yo! We've got some time before the competition. It's interesting well, that Rainbow Dash has such confidence issues. But, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is a big oh, deal. Right. Big, big, big deal. She should be nervous and afraid of this. Here if she's is. not, she's an the idiot. Greatest city in the sky. <laughs> Ooh, it's, we know it's the Umi city in the sky. <laughs> but I'm sure, I'm sure there's others. Oh, now, 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 Rarity. Focus, focus, Rarity. Some of the greatest Pegasi in history came from Cloudsdale. Yo! Oh, wait for me! <laughs> That guy kind of looks like Digi Brody. Hey, <laughs> <Ain't> coming! <laughs> Boing! <Be careful laughs> it's like, what happened to my jackhammer? <laughs> they're made from gossamer and morning dew, and they're incredibly delicate. Bummer. Don't worry, Twilight. I'm <sighs> Most sure flight vehicles usually are. <laughs> too much attention. Oh. Since we're up here, I'd sure like to get a look at where the weather's made. Great idea. That'd be cool. Come on, girls, to the weather factory! Yo! <laughs> Actually, no, that way. <laughs> Keep forgetting it's reversed, but whatever. Snowflakes. Each one is cook made. As you can see, it's very it's a delicate. delicate <laughs> oh, the snowflakes look even better from up here. Hey, I can... Careful, Rarity. There's quite a breeze in there. What? Oh, no, my hard work, my masterpiece. No. <laughs> well, we better move on before Rarity ruins winter and causes a drought. <laughs> oh. Ugh. And here's where they make the rainbow. Oh, there was another statue of uh, Alicorn or something, I think. Uh oh. Spicy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rainbows are really good for their flavor. Oh dear. Whoa! Oh, where'd you get those amazing wings? I want a pair. <laughs> Sorry, you already have a yeah, pair. <laughs> I see that. Oh, hey, look! It's Rainbow Crash again! <laughs> yeah! Hmm. Rainbow! Um. Crash! Ugh. You need to pick up some new material, what are you man. Doing talking to these guys? Oh, hmm. they were Good just question. admiring my wings, Rainbow Dash. Yeah. I like the hard hat. Get the Sonic <laughs> Rainbow and just get yourself some wings like these! <laughs> <laughs> oh. That wouldn't oh, be any fun, though. Come on, girls. Why don't we go see how clouds are made? Don't listen to them. You're gonna win that competition for sure. Mm. Are you kidding? I can't do the Sonic Rain Boom. Aww. Just look at these boring, plain, old, feathered wings. They're I'm fine. Doomed. They can exceed. Whoa. Well, oh, okay, says They can exceed Mach One. So, yo, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, machinery. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Sadly, Rarity is so in character in this episode. Rainbow, Rainbow Dash apparently is not, but to be Rainbow Dash we'll relax, see. Remember, put your wings away and stop showing off. Yes, listen to Twilight. Listen to Twilight. To put away or not. Ooh, pretty. Oh dear. At least she's Rainbow happy. Dash, are you okay? No. You look so good. <laughs> Of course. Why wouldn't I be okay? I'm perfectly fine. I'm perfectly fine. I'm in love with Rarity's <laughs> wings that they won't even notice when I totally blow it in the Best Young Flyers competition. Oh. Hey, there's an idea. You should enter the competition. Yeah. I could watch you fly. <laughs> it's a Granny Smith clone, clone with wings. <laughs> there really isn't any pony who uses their wings quite like me. Oh, dear I should Rarity. compete. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting notion. She's not a Pegasus. So would she be able to enter the competition to begin with? I'll let that what go. am I gonna do? I'll never win the competition now. Oh, poor Rainbow Dash. No. She's depressed. By the way, I guess she should be, but ah. Uh, <laughs> that was definitely derpy. <laughs> and her eyes aren't fixed. <laughs> I'm going to be a while. What? Okay. Hey. Oh, that was a very nice rarity. <laughs> You're number one. Oh. Well, that was most unfortunate to have. Phillies and gentle colts, please 
Oh, oh, wireless microphone. <laughs> oh, we are not worthy, Princess Celestia. We are not worthy. <laughs> oh. Yes, hello, my fans. Hello, my subjects. <laughs> yes. Yo. <laughs> When they come together, they generate fireworks. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and now, let's find out who will take the prize as this year's best young liar. Okay, contestant number one, you're up. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> okay, number two, let's go. Um, come on, come on, we ain't got all day. <laughs> She's talking to you. Need to be paying attention, man. Oh, I guess that's me. Hmm. <laughs> I think that was like the first young male voice I think we've seen in the whole show. <laughs> okay, number so far, four, anyway. time to go. I'm number four, and I need just one more itsy bitsy minute to be a deer and have some pony go ahead of me. Hmm? Look, hey, I don't that's care cheating. Who it is, but some ponies gotta go on. Look, Ouch. do this. Roar! <laughs> what am I gonna do? Panic. <laughs> I love number seven. Doing 15 barrel rolls in a row can't be easy. No, it's not. <laughs> she just looked like such a nice pony. Hmm. Aww. Wonder how come we haven't seen Rainbow Dash or Rarity yet? The competition's almost over. Hmm. Uh oh, Rainbow Dash is cowering in a corner. Number 15, let's go. <laughs> such sympathy. <laughs> it's like. Rarity Ooh. is ready. <laughs> What to tell you? There's only time what a horrible outfit! <laughs> if you both want to compete, you'll just have to go out there together. Well, Rainbow Bummer. Dash, shall we? <laughs> oh, great! It just gets worse and worse and for poor Rainbow for Dash. Our final competitor of the day, <laughs> contestant number fifteen. Uh, and thirdly, contestant number four. Yeah, and oh dear, and uh, number four. Oh dear. <laughs> Bummer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, poor that Rainbow Dash. Changing our music. That <laughs> rock and roll doesn't really match my wings. Ouch. <laughs> oh, poor Rainbow Dash. It's like, how could it get any worse? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, look how she's like Come invisibly on, standing on the, the sky or something. <laughs> Phase one. <laughs> yes. Remember, remember, control, finesse, and control. <laughs> and focus. Yes! Rainbow Dash. Ooh! Uh -oh. Ooh! Nice work, Rainbow Crash! Ow. At least her head is made of, like, titanium or something, because it, it... That could have cracked her skull. Let that go. <laughs> Time for phase two! Where did she go? Get back here! Oh, uh, yeah, 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 spinning! Phase two is working! Hey, hooray, hooray! You do it, Rainbow Dash. Ooh! Where'd that cloud come from? Uh, uh oh. Duck! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Celestia. And now, for my grand finale, I will fly right up to the sun and beam my beautiful wings uh -oh. over the whole city of Cloudsdale. Oh, they'll be talking about it for years! Ah, uh, you might say that. Mm. Looks like this is my last chance to turn things around. Phase three. The Sonic Rainbow. Oh, don't worry, Rainbow Please. Dash. You can don't do it. Fail me now. Mm. Go! Go, Rainbow Dash, go! Need more altitude. Uh, max power! Look upon me! Oh, it's hot up here. She's sweating. <gasps> yes! Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so nice and beautiful and pretty. Hey, did you smell that? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Bye, Rarity! Oh, her wings evaporated into thin air! Yes, Twilight, I think we noticed that. Someone do something! The whole stadium of Pig inside there. Why does not someone do something? Oh, 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 ooh. She knocked out all three of the Wonder Bolts. Oh. Hold on, Rarity! Bummer. I'm Go get her! Come on, get her! Max power! Do it, Rainbow Dash! You can do it! Rarity's depending on you! Come on! Yes! Come on! Max power! No! Uh oh. <laughs> Duck! <laughs> 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 
Mm. I get you saved priority. Oh no! Yo! <laughs> it's, it's really impressive that she's able to fly that fast while carrying like four unconscious ponies on her back and stuff. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Hey, <laughs> uh, we're all unconscious. <laughs> At least there's someone to come and carry them. That was nice. Oh my gosh, it's a revolution for, uh, <laughs> for Fluttershy. You sure did? Oh, thank you, Rainbow Dash. You saved my life. Yes, you oh, did. Yeah. I did that too. <laughs> Best day ever. Yes, just don't drop Rarity. I, I don't want Rarity to plunge to her doom. I like her. I oh, no, there she is. <laughs> all of you for getting so carried away with my Aww. beautiful wings. <laughs> my poor wings, they're so poor. Okay. Poor don't Rarity. Worry, we still love you. And then yeah, sorry, we like you, Rarity. So thoughtless as to jump into the contest at the last minute after you had worked so hard to win it. Oh Can you dear. ever, ever forgive me? Maybe. Oh, it's okay. Everything turned out all right, right? Yes. I wish I could have met the Wonderbolts when they were awake. Bummer. <laughs> I got to meet my heroes, but they were all unconscious. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But they're standing right behind me, so yo. <laughs> so you're the little pony who saved our lives. Yes. I really wanted to meet you and say thanks. Well, that was nice. Well, she did save your life and all that stuff. Princess. <gasps> oh, Princess Celestia in the royal guard. Twilight yes. <laughs> and hello to your friends too, Princess Celestia. I'm sorry I ruined the competition. Aww. Rainbow Dash here really is the best flyer in Equestria. Yes, he I is. Know she is, my dear. That's why, for her incredible act of bravery and her spectacular sonic rain boom, I'm presenting the grand prize for best young flyer to this year's winner, Ms. Rainbow Dash. Yay! <laughs> cool. <laughs> I like how her cutie mark head is in the crown. <laughs> Whatever. Did you learn anything about friendship from this experience? She might have. I did, Princess. <laughs> But I think Rarity learned even more than me. <laughs> There's that music again. <laughs> I learned how important it is to keep your hooves on the ground and be there for your friends. Yes. Excellent. Well done, Rarity. Mm. This Lesson really is learned. the best day ever! Uh, yo! Rainbow Crash. Dash! Dash, you idiot! <laughs> Sorry, Rainbow Dash. Uh, we just wanted to congratulate you remembered. on winning the competition. That oh, Sonic that was Rain nice. Boom was awesome! Yes, it was. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, we're really sorry we gave you such a hard time before. Uh, That's surprising, but okay, cool. Don't worry about it. Hey, do you want to hang out with us? Maybe hmm. you can show us how you did well, that incredible trick. Now that you're a celebrity and everything, would you want to hang out with us? <laughs> but I've got plans. <laughs> no, I'm going to hang out with the Wonder Ball, sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, the all-powerful Lauren Faust. <laughs> <laughs> As always, thank you to you hard-working people for working so hard on the show. Yes! And please don't take down my video! <laughs> I don't want to keep it copyright violations, but this is so cool, I can't help but comment on this. <laughs> anyway, Hasbro. Yo! <laughs> Uh, note this. Uh, note to self. Don't put the laptop so far away. Uh, next time. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Okay. So yes. So now I'm gonna try to do my best to not ramble on for 20 minutes about this. <laughs> Unless there's something worth saying this time. But anyway, yeah. So this is a this is a very cool episode. We learned a lot about Rainbow Dash and her. She was she was kicked out of flight school. Oh dear. That sounds most unfortunate. Ooh. But she says no. I wasn't kicked out. Interesting question. Did she actually finish flight school? Hmm. Interesting. Well, Paris, Paris she doesn't need to. <laughs> but yeah, well, yeah, this was a really good episode. I mean, it was good. I mean, we got to see Cloudsdale and a lot of other Pegasi and stuff like that. Even though I know, I, I, I mentioned in my last one that at least one was recycled as an Earth pony. That's just animation for you, you know. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. But yeah, I mean... <laughs> Okay, there was a Granny Smith clone here as well and stuff like that. That's uh, Granny Smith uh, painted in white as a, as a Pegasus and stuff like that. But that's okay. Again, it's animation, you know. It's like every, everything in animation is an asset and you'd be fooled not to use it and recycle stuff from time to time. But anyway, 
But yeah, I like, um, I do like this episode. I mean, yeah, Rainbow Dash at first seems like she's out of character. She's like, <laughs> I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. Oh, my life is ruined. <laughs> I mean, so out of her character. I think only a couple episodes ago, she might have, you know, she kicked a dragon in the nose and stuff like that. I must admit, I forget when Dragon Shy was. I think it was a few episodes before, but whenever. Anyway. But yeah, I mean, she goes from that to cowering in a corner, being all cowardly and stuff. And like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in a way, she should be. I mean, this is this is part of her mas- This is part of her master plan and all that stuff. This is this is important. This isn't just simply. This is one step on her, her in her big master plan towards world domination. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's one step in her plan towards you know getting into the Wonder Bolts and stuff like that. So she should be scared. She should be afraid and stuff like that. If she wasn't, she'd be crazy and stuff like that i mean it reminds me of something with uh test pilot says uh to someone who, who just asked him so even uh veteran te- test pilots get nervous before a first flight and he says if you don't you shouldn't be in the seat because it's true i mean if, if <laughs> it's like a quarter never lied i'm sure i said this the last time as well it's like you know another lie from uh beast wars it's like you know this is why you mess up kiddo you don't have the sense to be afraid <laughs> and stuff like that i mean if you're not afraid of stuff that you should be afraid of then you know you've got issues and that's and that's the thing rainbow dash is i mean this is she's afraid of failure of outright failure and embarrassment which are definitely things that a lot of people are afraid of and stuff like that you know this is why you know for some people simply standing on a stage and talking to a crowd of 100 people or so can be the most scary most hardest thing that they can possibly do because you could go up on that stage and make a complete fool of yourself and embarrass yourself and just be, and be it'd be awful it'd be terrible uh, oh the it's not the pain it's the ridicule that hurts <laughs> and stuff i think i said all this stuff before but oh uh, well but some of it's really relevant now but yeah i mean that's what she's afraid of. She's afraid of outright failure and obviously the ridicule and the pain and everything and the fact that her dreams would be crushed and smashed. That's what she's afraid of. And she should be afraid of those things. She should be. <laughs> and in a way, it's one of those things if she can't deal with that. I mean, she, she can't simply kick the dragon in the nose. It's, it's something that she has to deal with herself. It's an internal struggle in a way that Rainbow Dash has to deal with and i don't think rainbow dash is so good at those kind of things rainbow dash is definitely much more she can you know she's not afraid to go up and punch a dragon in the nose but it's much harder for her to deal with you know self-confidence issues and stuff which is really great you know why her why it was so important for her friends to be there for her and stuff like that she really needed their support but she honestly in a way would never directly admit that she never would directly say as like i need your help it's like i want your help it'd be great if you could come but you know <laughs> and stuff like that but she'd never directly say that and um i don't know if that's really true or not but i think that's definitely something that i know i struggle with sometimes i don't want to ask for help when i should and stuff like that <laughs> no that was apple buck season sorry that was apple buck season lesson not here but still i mean that was that was cool i mean it was interesting to see rainbow dash who's clearly this you know courageous character and all of a sudden go through this struggle and but the good news is she overcomes it and the reason she can do the sonic rainbow at the end the sonic mm, excuse me the sonic rain boom at the end is because it's no longer about her she's no longer focused on her fears and anxiety she's only focusing on saving rarity and stuff like that and that's why she's able to do that and that's a cool thing that's a cool thing which was again that was something in another show another episode of beast machines where long story short transformer has to learn how to transform and he only does it when he um when he's trying to rescue his friends and it's, and he says later it's like it's like man don't you want to know why i finally transformed i wasn't focused on myself i was only focused on saving you guys you know and stuff like that now it's cool i like that i think that was sort of the sub lesson or the sub thing with that and that was cool hmm. i was with the sonic rain boom is an interesting thing it's like it's an interesting question if a pony who's not rainbow colored could do a sonic rain boom would it be a sonic rain boom <laughs> or would it be in their colors I don't know. <laughs> but obviously that's a little bending of the laws of physics because it's like I don't think a pony, regardless if they could fly that fast, would survive going above Mach 1 because there are airplanes that are made of metal and stuff that wouldn't survive going Mach 1. <laughs> but again, it's a kid's cartoon show. We'll let that go. 
<laughs> well, let that go and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, we got to see Celestia and the Royal Guard. I mean, we actually got to see them do their job. It's basically just stand beside Celestia and stuff like that. That was cool. It was like, I like how Celestia can somehow just, sometimes just appear out of nowhere. <laughs> but of course, obviously, that was a little expected, of course. But anyway, yeah, I mean, the other interesting thing with this episode was Rarity. Rarity you know at first was you know, you know was surprising it was like you know she was the first one to come to um rainbow dash's age she's like she's like you know it's like applejack basically says nah she doesn't have confidence problems she's she's tooting her own horn and all that stuff she's clearly not she's clearly being typical rainbow dash being overconfident and everything but no rarity sees all through that she sees that rainbow dash is really she's more like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> and stuff like that she's more like that you know and she can see right and rarity sees right through that and is the first to come to to rainbow dash's aid including being the guinea pig for the for uh the wing spell and stuff like that and almost killed herself in twilight in the process oh dear uh, it's like twilight was like <laughs> i think it worked uh, could someone tell me i'm too loopy right now to tell <laughs> But yeah, I mean, oh, poor, poor. I mean, we learned something there as well that there are spells that are simply really hard and stuff like that. And yeah, there's some confidence issues there with um, Twilight as well. She wasn't certain she could do the spell, but again, she clearly she could. I mean, it was just too hard for her to do it more than once and stuff like that. That was cool. Rarity was unfortunately in character, totally in character through the the uh, middle part of this episode. I mean, she's she's unfortunately gotten so absorbed with her wings and herself essentially that basically it just. Oh dear, and this is this is what Rarity's dream is. It's you know she wants to be the center of attention. To everybody say, "Oh, look at my beautiful wings! They're gorgeous!" Oh, this is Rarity's dream come true. She, how could she not, in a way, you know, embrace it and enjoy it and stuff like that? And it's it's rather tragic. But again, I think I think part of this is also you know it's a kid show. I think sometimes in kid shows you have to really hammer home a point. To make it, you know, really go to the extreme for the kids to get it sometime. And, like, basically, it's one of these don't be like these characters. This character's clearly a jerk, and they really took that far. And, um, no, I think it was actually not so bad. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they could have taken it further. I don't know if they, they took it too far or not. But obviously, she's in character. She's definitely one of those unsympathetic characters at this moment because she's like, they're here to help Rainbow Dash, but she's totally self absorbed in her wings. But again, in her defense, I mean, if you had this happen to you, that if all of a sudden you were gorgeous or something and everybody would take all this attention to you, I mean, it would be hard not to, you know, just, you know, it would be hard, it would be easy to get absorbed and by that and to ignore your friends even when they need your support and stuff like that. And unfortunately, this is totally in character for Rarity, and this is exactly what Rarity's always wanted. So, in her defense, in a way, it was it was very hard for her to, to fight that and all that. <laughs> Yeah, but as always, you know, she learned at the very end and she realized her mistake and she immediately made amends for it and immediately apologized and was generally sorry for what happened. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, I mean, people like A.Y. Pody say, you know, I was like, as long as the, uh, you know, the, they, they learn a lesson, it's okay. And that's not okay. And to a point, that's true. But, you know, I think as long as you learn the lesson, you make amends, you say you're sorry and stuff like that, then that's okay. I mean, obviously Rainbow Dash was... You know, under, Rainbow Dash was surprisingly understanding. She wasn't angry at the fact that Rarity was basically, you know, taking, you know, taking her thunder and everything. And <laughs> it's like, oh, poor Rainbow Dash, poor Rainbow Dash. I mean, really, the situation almost in a way couldn't get any worse for her. It's like, I mean, she, she, she's totally, you know, in a, in, a, in a corner crying. And, well, not quite crying, but cowering and stuff. And <laughs> I mean, she has to, I mean, she has to go on with Rarity, her music. She has to put up with Rarity's music. And things start going wrong for her one thing at a time. And again, I love the fact that Rainbow Dash appears to be indestructible, that she can slam into a wall at like 100 miles an hour and not break every bone in her body. <laughs> again, again, that's, that's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. I love those things. I like taking note of those kind of things, but it's like, I'm not saying, oh, that's totally wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just fun. It's just fun. It's one of those things that it's clearly wrong, but it's fun. But it's that's a cartoon. So enough of that. But yeah, I mean, it was really interesting to see the these two characters, how they're different and how they interact and everything. And it was cool. And... I mean, I'm glad that Rarity learned this lesson. I mean, I think bo both of these characters obviously learned something from this episode. And the other cool thing was that we got to see Fluttershy, you know. <laughs> it's like Fluttershy was completely out of character at the very end. But that was, in a way, the whole point. But um, you could almost argue that she is in character, that she's... She's obviously trying very hard to be unlike Fluttershy and actually be assertive and stuff. Again, I like how in the beginning it's like, 
she tries to yell to, to cheer louder, but it doesn't get any louder at all. <laughs> it's like too loud. No, it didn't get any louder from the first time. <laughs> Even though she's like, <gasps> yay. <laughs> Anyway, I think I think I think that was cool as well. That rare that that Fluttershy was trying to be a little bit more like Rainbow Dash, which is it must have been something uh, an ongoing thing for Rainbow Dash. That she always wants to be, she wants Fluttershy to be like her. I don't know if that's good. I mean, or not to a point that's not good because Fluttershy is clearly not Rainbow Dash. Fluttershy will never be like Rainbow Dash. I mean, she can be courageous and brave and, and assertive at certain times, but she will never be Rainbow Dash. She will never be like her. And that's good. That's fine. You know, that's that's fine. <laughs> okay, I don't want to go too much into that in this video because again, I don't want to make this video really long and stuff like that. But still, I I, I like this episode. I mean, I think it was definitely interesting and uh, got some little backstory to Rainbow Dash and everything. And we definitely got to see you know a whole side of the Pegasus side that we normally don't get to see because obviously we stay in Ponyville most of the time and all that stuff. And <laughs> Be interested to know, are there other cloud other cities in the clouds, or is it just Cloudsdale? There's probably others. There's probably others. <laughs> but still, I like it. I mean, it was certainly interesting. These these the three characters are have interesting uh, struggles. I mean, uh, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, and Fluttershy. I mean, Fluttershy is a little less important, but it was. It, I think it, in a way, it wasn't out of character for her to go be going yay 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 at the very end because she's obviously very uh, she's genuinely excited and happy that. She's seen Rainbow Dash fail to perform the Sonic Rain Boom hundreds of times and stuff like that. And this is the one time he's actually done it. <laughs> and not only that, she saved her friends at the same time. So that was cool. So that was definitely best day ever. Yes. It's like, because <laughs> she saved Rarity. She performed the Sonic Rain Boom. And she's on the path to, um, you know, on to, you know, on the, see that path that she has to fulfill her dreams and stuff to eventually become the Wonder Bolts, that's actually happened because because this whole thing happened. The Wonder Bolts actually took notice of her in a way other than, uh, we gotta hang out with this teenager for the day. <laughs> it's like they actually genuinely want to talk to Rainbow Dash because A, she performed the Sonic Rain Boom and B, she did save their lives. So that would, that would, I, I would definitely want to <laughs> be thankful and grateful and probably talk to somebody who saved my life thank you very much <laughs> and stuff like that that was cool that was cool so yeah this is definitely a um important and interesting episode and it's definitely a very good one and despite all that and um and it's also very fun and entertaining i mean there's a lot of good jokes and stuff but it, it was kind of fun to see rainbow dash being all cowardly like <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> but the part but the thing i like about that is like yeah i mean she goes from that and she overcomes it she overcomes it i mean it would have been interesting to happy what would have happened if um, rarity had not fallen to her doom and what would have happened then when she have still been able to do the sonic rainbow maybe but the good news is we won't have to find, find figure, wonder about that because she, because she was able to do it and everything's good so this was a good episode i really liked it it had it actually had some pretty good lessons in it as well i mean obviously it's obviously a big central theme of the show to always be uh, there for your friends and stuff like that i love that theme i love that theme that's a great theme and then obviously it can sometimes be very easy to simply get carried away with you know competition or you know yourself and stuff like that but it's always important to have your focus on your friends and stuff like that when they really need you and stuff and that was really cool that's a great lesson and it was fun entertaining we got to see a sonic rain boom the uh cloudsdale pegasi and princess celestia and the world guard yes <laughs> and rarity did not fall to her doom <laughs> She came close, but didn't. <laughs> okay, but yeah, but fortunately, everything's good. I mean, this is good. No, this is a very good one. And again, it's a very important one. It's a very important one. And as always, it was fun and entertaining and had good lessons and everything. So it's a good one. It's a really good one. Okay, so I've definitely rambled on enough for this on this one. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, remake of um this um this video. I honestly think it was better this time, but I'll leave that decision up to you. And hopefully it will not be hammered by YouTube. <laughs> and or Hasbro or whatever. <laughs> hmm, I hear there may be a change in that situation, but we shall see. So anyway, until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong and pony on. Blue Star out.